comes with a controller metal casing, you just put it somewhere, you lock it, then that's it. And then the readers that you can use it with, uh, you've got uh, multiple uh, choices to choose on the ASR 2201A, you've got your ASR 2101H, and then you get your ASR 2101. My favorite will always be that two in one, ASR 2102H, because it's portable, it's small, and it can do both time and attendance also access control. You've got your ASR 2102A as well, and as you can see, the keypad one as well is also available on this one. Access control. Access control standalone with the facial recognition. Um, so we put them from small ones to the big ones, yeah? So we've got the 4.3 inch one screens and then we also have the ASI 6214. Please, please, let's keep in mind uh, to this ASI S series because I think it will be the replacement of this one because I'll give you a rough estimate of the trade price on that one, it was about Four five on it, and then with this one, non pure trade price you're looking at two grand. You, you don't get that price anywhere. That's IP65 rated, can do both time and attendance and also access control. So it doesn't get uh, any better than that. So these two work in hand together, as I've mentioned, the only difference would be that. And then we also have got our seven <coughs> series ones. We do have the 6214S, 7214S, and the 7213S as well. Fingerprint, the other one will be cut. And also we do have uh, <coughs> the version 3 ones, the 7214Y and the 721413Y as well. And newly released product as well, we do have the Android-based ones. So, Currently, we're busy integrating with a company called uh, At The Gate. So At The Gate specializes in your visitor management uh, software. So, like they can give you a whole estate entrance uh, visitor management. So with them, they work with Android because they want to customize it the way they want. They want to put their own softwares and things like that. You can download WhatsApp on it if you want and do whatever because it's Android based. Whereas with the Linux one, you won't be able to do that. So, if there is a request for an Android device, we'll be able to get it for you as well. Okay, so we've got our standalone devices here, as I've mentioned. Um, what is that one? This man here, as you can see, it comes with rain shield. We also offer um, cable management boxes. So if you don't want to get a rain shield or anything, you can just get this cable management box so that it makes your installation to look neat as well, if you be installing it indoors. SI1212F, we do have it as well, so we went almost through everything. And then we do have the enrollment reader here at the bottom. I don't know if we can all see. It's called the ASM101, 101A. So with this one, it's a two-in-one way to be able to enroll fingerprint and also pad. I know it looks exactly like uh, the slate reader there, but yeah, this will just be your USB plug-in. You just plug it into your PC, go to your software, then you'll be able to register everyone there. We have accessories like your uh, Mac locks as well. The code for our accessories will be the ASF. So once you see the F, just know that you're looking at your Mac locks, door closures, uh, your cards, and also your emergency brake classes. We do have them as well available, no touch exit button, we have them available. Any questions so far? Yes, sir. Uh, the cards that they use, is it just the MyFair cards? Yes, the MyFair cards, the RFID card. So if you look, uh, some, let me just check. So if you check here, uh, where is that one? You might find maybe the ASI 3223 uses MyFair, and the other one will use uh, your yes, 125 kilohertz one. So we just have to 
to be careful as well when we're quoting the client. Because what happens is that you find that the clients on site already they've got the MyFair card. And now you're giving them the RFID card readers. So for them to change the card all over again, it might be a problem. So whenever we quote, let's just get whether they want the cards or they've got existing ones so that you can just give them a full solution. Where was I? Where was I? Okay. So that shows the different controllers here. As I've mentioned, we've got the metal one, we've got the plastic one. So you obviously gonna need a fingerprint identity on the controller. And then the controller supplies power directly to the lock. So you don't need extra power for Mac lock. You just, you can power the Mac lock using the controller itself. And nicest thing, as you can see, it's PoE compatible. I don't have any 12 volts here. Straight to my PoE switch, <coughs> and then it powers it powers the readers on. It also can power your Mac lock on. So for installers who don't like running cables, <coughs> which no one does, uh, if you don't like running cables on site, then you just can just power it via PoE here. Okay, flexible and also configurable as well. <coughs> you can use your ID. Uh, user ID as unique identification as well. You can set your holidays, uh, bond person, associate. You can set your duress finger. So a duress finger is when, let's say maybe we've got a safe and now we've got uh, people who came to rob us. You can open the safe with a different figure, finger. The criminals won't notice that you've, you've alerted the security to come and do some, it will open normally, but the control room will get a notification to say, hey, there's a problem there. So, so that uh, no one gets hurt in the process, then you will be having a backup as well. You can set your anti-pass back, as I've mentioned. You can do your multi-verification -ver mode. So now we can say it's a safe, but in that safe, no person should have access alone. You can say Cyril and Dylan must be the ones opening. So if I go there with my finger or cut, it won't open until Dylan comes as well. So you can do that as well. You can also set your first uh, login to open. With that one as well, it's a problem because if I'm far away and then I'm sick, if you set it in a way that if Cyril doesn't open first, no one should have an access unless otherwise, but you can also put multiple people on it. On that one as well and here you get your slave readers uh, you get your ASM 11 and then you get your uh, reader access reader I also like this one you can do pin code and also uh, you can do cut on it dual frequency support both my fair and also I uh, ID card so this will answer your question as well so with the readers as well you so you get ASR21018 ME and then you get the SR21008. The difference will be that one can do my fair, the other one can do your RFID cut. And then the long cut range on it can go up to five centimeter, IP66 and IP65 rated on it as well. Okay, we can uh, bid on this one 26 and also 36. Series style and more elegant. As you can see, it looks so nice. Okay, this will be our Smart PSS Lite software. 64 devices, 64 channels of your cameras, channels for time and attendance, 64 as well. You'll be able to add your uh, 16 BTH and up to 512 of your indoor station, which is quite amazing because we do have um, a big uh, video intercoms reader. It's a touch screen. So how it works, that one can take up to 256, 256 of the indoor station. You put it there, as you come, you dial the number of the room where you're going, and then they'll be able to answer, and they can also answer on their phone. Or you also get a solution where you just get an outdoor station that will call directly to your phone. You don't need an indoor station. But with that um, VTO-DMSS license, it's a once-off payment, then you own it. You're looking at maybe a trade of 270 
for one to activate one mobile app and you don't have to renew it if someone is leaving the company you can transfer it to someone else which is very cost effective as well okay so device management personnel manager on it you get your access control manager time and attendance cctv so we'll go through everything step by step when i open the software so that you can just have an idea and just play around with the devices Okay, so here's the network access control, access control configuration process. You obviously gonna put everything on a network. You can either add it manually or you can just search it automatically and then you put the pin on it. You can set your time template on this one because it's very important to always set the time. I'll show you guys on how you can do it. Sometimes if you set the time on the, if you don't set the time on the device, it won't open for you whether you are registered or not but if the time doesn't correspond to where we are then it won't open for you it will give you a is it valid validity error i think yeah it will give you that error then it won't open for you permission settings you can add permission to the group you can add department as well and then your advanced uh configurations you get your first cut you unlock uh, multi-cut as I've mentioned with this one, anti-passback and also interlock. So with the interlock, it will work more like your main trap at the banks. Once you get in inside, you open that door. When it, open, when it closes, then the other one can open for you. That would be our interlock door on it. And then access control, um, rule enforcement, and also advanced access settings. The insider controller standalone access control so this is what i was talking about um, for a facial recognition facial recognition that can work as a video intercom and also access control you can use it with our vth5221 if both devices have got wi-fi on them you don't need to run any cable on it you just have to get your relays to your gate so that you can just open from anywhere but one device can do both you call here as a visitor. If you are an employee or employer there, you'll be able to go in without asking for access on it as well. So it's only, it's not only the three, yes? So I just want to find out in terms of when the whole Wi Fi is now set up. Mm. So if, for instance, there's now issues with linked or connectivity or something, does it not interrupt the. It the will process? interrupt it. Remember, if. I'm using my phone, and then someone calls, I have to open for them. If you need the Wi-Fi and also, or your internet, because everything will be set on the mobile app. If you don't have network, you won't be able to open for the person. But now, if you're using a intercom, maybe a reader like this, as long as you've got your relays there, if I've got access, I'll be able to open, whether Wi-Fi is, is connected or not mainly because the relays are going directly there. But if there's interference in between, you won't have access to open. Okay. Okay, so we all understand um, this mobile app with your access control to your video intercom. Okay. And most of our screen, this is I, uh, POE compatible as well. It's POE, you don't need power for it, nothing. You can just plug in your uh, POE switch here and then you'll be good to go. Very easy to configure as well. And this here is our most, most selling access control facial recognition. So you get your indoor one, small one that you can put in your office. 3,000 faces will always be more than enough. You get one that can do 1,000 faces. Obviously, when you check, you find that this one is doing 3,000, and that one can do 1.5. The difference here is gonna be the pricing as well, and also the capacity on it. I mean, if you've got about uh, 10 employees, 20 employees in your company, you can just get any of this, depending on the budget or the quality that you'll be looking for. POE, we've got 6214S, 
purely compatible and we've got the 6213 which is purely compatible as well. 6,000 faces, 10,000 part. Only difference that one metal casing, plastic casing can do 6,000 and this one can do uh, 10,000 uh, faces on 10,000 parts, sorry, on it. Accessories, you get your VTH, VTS, your enrollment uh, readings cards, and also your magnets. <laughs> okay. Perfect series recognition. So on this one, you can do uh, multiple user recognition. Okay. So support recognize max of four user at once. Greatly improved and efficient efficiency of personal passage, mass detection. Our devices still have that function for, ma uh, for mass detection. I know COVID is not there, but if it's required, we still have it there on our devices. Video intercom, as I've mentioned, you'll be able to call to the indoor station directly. And also you get your auto from um, DIY. So on this one, you can do three personalized voices audio and you can upload it via MP3 format as well. Multiple languages as well and then you get to connect it on your mobile app as well. So most of the things I've spoke about them already so I'll be quicker but if I'm fast please feel free to stop me so that I can just assist so that we're all in the same page. You look at our ASI6214 uh, PW, POE, and also Wi-Fi on it. Multiple verification. So everything is almost the same. The functionality of our devices are the same. The difference would be that one is IP65 rated, the other one is only indoors, and also they can all do video intercoms, and other one can do POE, and the other one cannot. So those will be the small difference between the indoor station and, and also the outdoor station. Yeah, I'm almost done with this one. So, so I, I just want to finish this slide, then we can go for like 10 minutes break. Then after that, we can just go through the software and stuff. Okay. All right, your mobile application on this one, you'll be able to live view and also play back on your phone. You can remote open the door. So wherever you are in Cape Town, as long as everything is connected, you've got internet, you'll be able to open for the person. Real-time monitoring event as well. Temporary password for visitors, you can set it in a way. Say for instance, now you've got contractors coming to work at your estate or residential area. You can give them access from five to, no, from eight to five. Then after five, the system will just block them from entering because people will get into the building and they'll see nice things later on they come back and then you can just give them access for the whole week but with a valid time period on it you can set the times on that one call push push video and also audio to dmss in your call you'll be able to do that okay so lastly we're going to look at the insider controller as i've mentioned that with the insider controller you can use a mobile device to conveniently and securely gain door access via Bluetooth. So we've got readers where you can access it using Bluetooth on it. And also we offer a web-centric operation to eliminate configuration and additional software. As I've mentioned, with this one, you can directly log in into the system to set your access control configuration and also your personal management. You don't need any uh, platform, smart PSS, or any paid software. You can just get that one on your PC and you'll be good to go. Okay, support PoE and provides power to the lock, reducing construction um, cost as well. You don't need to run a lot of powers on site. So with this one, again, one main controller, you can, you can get your one main controller and add sub-controllers. You can just chain them uh, up to 19. Overall, you can support up to 40 doors. You'll be able to do your anti-pass back, anti back. You can do your global anti-pass back on this one as well. And then, as you can see, the readers that will do uh, the Y, the Bluetooth uh, opening and stuff will be the ASR-2008-B. 
So with that one, we have it available. It's just in a testing phase right now. I, I'm busy testing it so that we just familiar with it as well. And after that, we can just release it to the client and give you guys POCs to test as well. Okay, convenient uh, configuration process. As you can see, you get your Bluetooth reader, you connect it to your controller, and then you can use your mobile app to open. So how you can do it is that three distance mode and two trigger mode can be configured for different scenarios. You get your short range up to uh, 20 centimeters, and you get one which is one to two meters, and then you get the other one which will be from five to 10 meters on it. You can either just place it normally or you can shake it and then you can just gain access on it. Okay, this will be the controller. So with this controller as well, those will be the readers that can be compatible with it. But you can also add a facial recognition on it. You can connect it via weekend and then you'll be able to obtain access using your facial only. If you want Bluetooth with a reader, you can do that as well. So as I've mentioned, built-in web server on it, uh, main controller and sub-controllers, and you get your main mode controller as well, and then you get your sub-controller, which you can add to Smart PSS or your main mode, but it's free. You can just use either of those, but you can log in directly to it. Okay. TCP IP, POE on it, and you can power the MacLock on it. Application on this one for mobile access, normal shake, for administrator, uh, remote opening door, and also real-time alarm info, unlock records query. So obviously with the mobile app, you'll always have an administrator. The administrator is the one that's gonna give access to everyone, because anyone can just download the app and gain access, but there must be one person, one or two administrators that will always give access. With that one as well, if you lose the license, you can just transfer it to anyone. So you don't have to buy anything. It's one soft, then you own it. Accessories that can be used, you get your enrollment readers, and also you get your Mac logs there. So this is the controller. We all saw the controller. So this is how it looks like inside. 1,000 users on it, one subcontroller, and you, one main controller up to 19 subcontrollers. I, I, I just like this device because for project-wise, it will work perfectly fine. Because remember the two door, hence we're saying one main controller up to 19 controllers, meaning you can, it's a two door controller itself. So it's very nice. So far the testing is going well. Uh, I don't know that it's going well, so I'm thinking maybe by the end of this month then I'll start uh, sharing the information with the customers. Those who want to test as well, I'll just give it for like two weeks to test and then we also get a feedback on where we can improve it. Okay. So this will be your controller. Um, the readers that you can use, as you can see, you get the MyFair one, which is the ASR21. 008 and then you get the ID one which is the ASR 2100A-D. So the dash D will support your ID and then touchless enter, short range, mid range and also long range and then the reach range there will be 5 centimeter IP66 rated on this one. You can easily put it in a case, uh, in a metal case and then in the bottom, you can put your battery backup for it. And then you get your mobile uh, DMSS. As I've mentioned, for mobile, all the time, you'll get one for administrator, and then you'll get one for the employee as well, so that the administrator can always give access to everyone who will be entering there. Okay, so here it's showing the configuration once you enter onto the mobile app as well. You initialize the device and then you add the device, you add your personnel, you can add your department, add user, time template, very important. You must just make sure that your PC time is the same as the device so that it can grant you 
permission to enter as well. So it's just the flow that it uses, but it's not complicated, it's just straightforward as well. And then you get your new product on this one. We've got the SI7 kit on this one. So with this module, it can do 5,000 places, seven inch screen, TCP IP on it, and also Wi-Fi. So as you can see, you've got a, an option to do fingerprint as well. So with that option, it's just gonna be a matter of clicking uh, that uh, device on the side and then you'll be able to gain fingerprint access there if you want. Okay. We'll get the ASI 8 series there, 8 inch TCP IP, Wi-Fi, IP65, and also you've got an option for fingerprint, which is optional. Okay, this brings us to the end of the product introduction. So I just want and then now you can just play with the device, the software, the terminal attendance, and see how it operates. Okay, so after, then you can come back.